So today we have two SMGs here, the Vector versus the MP5, which is going to perform better and which is going to be better for you. Now, I do actually have some pros and cons for both of these weapons, so be sure to watch the whole video. And let's get on. The first game actually takes us to Pablito. And here we go. This is an ugly iron sight. I have to actually say that for the vector. So that's, you know, uh, you have to use a red dot. And then we, I hear actually, I hear somebody here. And because this gun just empties out in like a second, I had to pull out my second beat to kill somebody. Now, because this gun empties out so fast, uh, it's actually really, 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 really hard to control the gun. But, you know, sometimes if you are in medium to close range, this gun is gonna be the best there like right here somebody's pushing me and then i kill them because i am in medium to close range right here but you know if you're in a little bit of a long range this gun is gonna give you a lot of problems like right here if i had my ak right there i would have killed that guy but then again that is kind of a long range for this gun and i wouldn't really recommend using this gun in long range now here you're gonna see another example of you know how fast this clip actually expires right there and you know this this is kind of like the main problem with the gun but then again the the upside to this the upside to this gun is basically that you know the mobility you get a lot of mobility right here like i'm trying to move here as fast as i can and i'm trying to get some kills here but you know the gun empties out too fast i cannot really do anything like right here you know i mean that was a skill issue to be honest but you know other than that yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's going pretty great. So here we go, another one. Right here, I kill another guy uh, because his hazard was really low. And now you guys are going to see why it is really hard to control this gun. This gonna, there's going to be a guy here in 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Now, if I had an AK or MP5 there, I would have killed him 100%. But because this gun only has 25 bullets and the mag empties out too fast and I'm dying behind walls, that's the main reason I cannot get any kills. So the second actually game takes us to Zoo. Which is actually a pretty great map. I'm gonna say that right here right now because it is a great map. And here we go. You guys are gonna see my trash aim again right here. But I was able to get away fastly because my teammate was able to pick that up. Now, here, you guys can see right here. So, in close range, this gun doesn't really give you a chance to get for the other guy to get a kill on you because the mag empties out a little bit too fast. But in close to medium range, uh, sorry, in long range, you know, right there, you guys can see that I just died right there. Now, when I got back, you know, it is going to be good in situation like this where you are actually a little bit closer to the enemy. Basically, you know, in short to medium range, this gun is going to be the king. It's going to outperform every single SMG or every single AR out there. But other than that, you know, I do not have any problem with this gun other than that the fire rate is, is a little bit too much for me. And it's really hard to control without any attachments like right here you guys can see that i was able to get a kill on that guy but then again it's really hard to control this gun then this is the third map and then again you know the 25 clip it just empties out a little bit too fast it doesn't actually you know it doesn't actually give you a chance to you know basically do anything but you know then again mobility is gonna be the best thing that you're gonna have with this gun and uh, it's going to be the best to be honest now here you guys can see another example of the clip emptying out too much and the mobility that you got with this gun now if i had like 10 more bullets there that guy would have been dead but you know since i have 25 and then again i have 25 right there i'm not gonna get this guy as well so uh, the main complaint that i have with this gun is gonna be its clip size you know if i have like 10 more bullets in there then it's gonna be really great but if i have like you know to be honest if i have 25 bullets there it's not gonna do as much for me as you know an mp5 or any other gun like that now here you guys are gonna see another thing so mobility you know i was able to get pretty nice damage right there because then again mobility and then again close range so nobody else can kill you right there and then again that guy gets away of course now here we go i do not know why i stopped shooting right there but 
Yeah, I just stopped shooting right there. And here I'm gonna kill another guy because fire it obviously. And now we are gonna move on to the MP5. Now the MP5 also has an ugly iron sight, so using a red dot is gonna be great. Other than that, this map is also great. I know a lot of this map, so I was able to get some pretty nice kills. I was just seeing if somebody was gonna cross here, so you know I was just aiming right here, and then I move on. And you guys are gonna see what happens here. So I see somebody right there, but because this gun has a really great fire rate and mobility, I was just able to swing around and kill this guy. Don't mind my aim, by the way. So here we go. I was able to stay much longer than you know one kill and then getting killed myself. So this this gun actually has great because it has 35 rounds in it, and you're able. To it doesn't actually have that much recoil as well even without the attachments now um i'm so sorry that you guys weren't able to see my my um, setup right here for the mp5 i will put it down in the description or i will just attach a screenshot somewhere so here we go you know i was able to get one kill right there and i was able to get away from two guys because of the mobility on this gun and then i get killed because of my trash aim to be honest yeah so mobility fire rate gun control you're getting everything on the mp5 but as for vector you know that's not gonna be the case you know right there i do not know how i lost that fight but you know somehow i did but mobility is gonna be great on this gun the fire rate is gonna be great to a point where you're gonna outgun everybody if you have good aim not like mine so i was able to get away thanks to mobility again and then i was able to bounce back and kill that guy right there now if we are right here, and I'm gonna kill one more guy right here, I think so. Um, yeah, right there. So I'm killing one more guy right there. Another guy pops up and I die behind a wall again. And then again, my great aim right there, but I was able to get away. Mobility, rocks, let's go. My trash aim again, and then I'm gonna kill this guy. I do not know if these guys were wearing headphones or not, because I was able to hear them pretty clearly. They weren't able to hear me for some reason and then again you know mobility let's go mobility and fire rate and the max sight as, as well so i would say that you know the mp5 is obviously the better weapon here because i was able to get again get another kill and stay away from the enemies stay longer alive and stuff like that so i would say that if you're gonna choose any gun just upgrade your mp5 to you know 20 or 25 level and you're gonna have like the one of the best smgs in the whole game as for vector yeah you know you can put your extended mag on it and stuff like that but that's gonna cost you your mobility as with the mp5 you know you can have a 35 round mag on there and you know your mobility is gonna be fine your fire rate is gonna be fine and everything else is gonna be fine i do not know how i, how I didn't get that kill right there but i was able to get this get this kill right here so yeah you know if you're gonna choose a gun for me personally it's gonna be the mp5 for you i got a collateral there that was really sick i had to say that for you whichever one works let me know down in the comments below and uh, i'm gonna say that i'll see you guys at the end of the video by the way So yeah, I was able to get pretty nice kills in this game and it was a really close game, you know. Uh, but we still lost. I did 25 kills in this game rather than the 5 to 10 or 15 kills that I was getting with Vector. So let me know which gun actually works for you and which gun is better. And if you guys did actually make it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.